I know this is the wrong show, but I still want to offer him a Scooby snack. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Blitzway 5 Pro Studio Inspector Gadgets, Brain and Penny. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, we have a nice image there of Brain and Penny. That's right, Brain and Penny. The dog, the dog's name comes first for some reason. That's really weird. I just knocked Penny over. You know what, let's just move these two over. On top, 5 Pro Studio, Mega Hero Series, O2, Brain and Penny, Brain and Penny. On this side we have Penny, on this side we have Brain. On the bottom, words and things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything, this box could be very bad for you. On the back, you have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Brain and Penny, the next in this set of Inspector Gadget figures from Blitzway and 5 Pro Studios. So yes, this is Brain, this is Penny, in case you did not know which is which. And while Inspector Gadget is, you know, the star of the show, these two are the real heroes of the show because they're the ones who usually solve the cases. So, you yeah, know, they're really... They're, 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 they're really the brains of the operation. No pun intended. <laughs> brains, brains of the operation. Anyway, so let's take a look at... One issue I have with these figures right off the bat is they don't like to stand too well. Penny? 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 Thank you, Penny. Okay. So let's take a look at Brain the dog here. And um, looks very good, very evocative of his look. In the cartoon, just big red nose there. Nice paint on the eyes. And his collar. You can see the body there. Not a whole lot to it. A very simplistic design for what was a very simplistic design in the cartoon. Little tail there. Yeah, it's pretty much all there is to it. Now, articulation wise, um, there is none. Doesn't do anything. It, that doesn't it does not move <laughs> nothing that nothing moves it's just it's just he's just there he does exactly what he's doing right now which is to not stand very well but yeah that's all he does um and that's my biggest complaint with uh these figures is that they're basically just statues they don't do anything they don't move they're just they're just there they're there to be companion pieces for gadget which is why gadget is the best figure of the set because the rest of them are just static pieces that don't do really anything, but let's bring in Penny. 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 Pe sorry. Ah, Penny. Penny! Here's Penny. <laughs> you can see. Has a nice yellow hair, her pigtails. You get nice paintwork for the eyes there. She has a little, hmm, look on her face. Hmm. You can see her t-shirt, red and white. Her green pants with the white patches and her pink shoes. But, you know, again, you know, sculpting wise, the sculpting is on point, the paintwork is on point. They look great, just unfortunate that they don't do anything because, again, articulation wise, there's, there's nothing. She, she does nothing. It's just, this is what she does. <laughs> nothing moves whatsoever. And she can't even stand that well. Neither of them can even stand that well. Ah, what a bummer. Thank you. So now let's run through the accessories. Uh, first thing you get is you get the display bases here. Again, just, you know, some bits of sidewalk. And you get one for each figure. And you get, of course, the uh, connector pieces here. And just like with gadgets, these all work the same way. You just plug these here. Like so, and it will allow you to connect these bases together. So you just have a nice, nice run there of uh, a boardwalk going on, or sidewalk rather. Penny, you know what? You can just stay there. You can just stay there. And if you don't want to use these, again, you just have the uh, these little posts here for storage, which I like, which I appreciate. And of course, you get the posts. 
the longer one and the smaller one. And again, I have no idea what the smaller one is for because it doesn't really work for what it seems like it should be working for. The longer posts, though, you just uh, plug in from underneath and that will give you a post to plug their foot onto. And now, now he will stand. Now he will stand just fine. So let's get this on here so Penny can actually stand. So she can stand with confidence. There you go. Now she's not going anywhere. Yay! Hooray for figures not falling over. So there you have that. And you do have some optional parts here. So you do have some display options for these figures. Um, so we'll start off with, uh, we'll start off with Penny. So as far as Penny's accessories go, uh, you do get her book. Let's see, not nice blue. Got some black, white in there. And she can hold this. Just tuck this under her arm. You can see her hand is kind of cupped there. And you can just slide that right in. And she can hold the book under her arm, like so. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But you also get a opened version of her book with some nice little tamper graft buttons and screens and whatnot. You can see the amount of detail on the outside. You can see there's this port here on the spine and that is for the optional arm so she can actually hold the book in its open position. So you just rip her arm off oops, and just plug this arm on. It's pretty snug. There we go. And then you just plug the book onto the post. And there you go. There she is now holding her book. You know, so you have that option if you want. And you do get an optional head here with just a big old smile. She's happy. She's happy to be Penny. Again, same amount of wonderful paintwork going on there. Very nice. And to do this, as always, this is kind of disturbing, but you do have to just kind of rip her head off and you have to remove her hair. <laughs> ah! And just pop the hair on this head, put her head back on her body. And there you go. She's smiling. She has her book. She's ready to solve some cases. So, hey, you do get some display options with her. Now, as far as Brain goes, as we all know on the series, Brain was a master of disguise, and we do get one of his disguises. So uh, we'll bring in this piece here. We get a uh, we get a poncho. We get some nice paintwork going on there, and this is just made of rubber. You get a uh, a sombrero. Yeah, very nice paintwork there. Looks quite good. And you also get a replacement nose here with a mustache. So what we're going to do here is, um, first we're going to rip off his head. we got to decapitate him. We're going to pull his nose out and replace it with the new nose. So now he's got a mustache. Then we take the poncho. That just goes right over his body. Like that, and then we can pop his head back on, and then we have to uh, rip off his ears. Got to rip off the ears. We can put on the sombrero, like so, and then you just take the ears and you plug them back into the head via these holes there in the sombrero. So you just get that lined up. There you go. Take the other one in. Ah, don't drop it. That's not part of the. That's not. That's not a step. That's not a step. That's a misstep, really. And there you go. There you have Brain in his disguise. He's a totally different person. Who is that? I don't know who it is. Brain was here just a second ago. I don't know where he went. It's just this Mexican dude here all of a sudden. What's going on? I didn't, but there you go. 
And that is all the display options you get with these two figures. You know, not as you know, not as many display options as Gadget himself, but hey, you get some options, and as always, options are good. And for comparison, here they are with with Uncle Gadget. Just so you can see how the family looks there together. So there you go. So there you have Brain and Penny, and yeah, these two are a bummer. These two are a real bummer because as fun as Gadget was, just so much playability with Gadget himself, and then you open up these two and they don't do anything. I mean, you have some display options, but other than that, there, there's not much to do with these. These are pretty much just statues to stand with the actual figure you can play with, um, which is unfortunate. It's definitely a bummer, but... It is what it is, you know, still the, the paintwork is on point, the sculpting is on point, they still look great, just unfortunate that you can't actually really do anything with them. So, you know, it is what it is, but there you go. Now you can get these figures directly from Blitzway. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check them out. You can also get these from BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Inspector Gadget playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that this is where my tongue stops working. I think this is where my tongue stops working. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So. There is the Blitzway 5 Pro Studio Inspector Gadget, Brain, and Penny. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Home in your face! Now, Penny, if you want to be a great inspector like me someday, you have to learn how to read people, learn their mannerisms, how they think. You have to get in their heads. Like that gentleman right there. He seems suspicious because, number one, he's peeing on a tree right now. And now he's smelling his own butts. And now he's looking at... I'm going to go check this out.